Okay, well, we're just gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna say welcome to everyone and hopefully Alexis is gonna join us in just a minute because we are excited to hear her story. Alexa, um, stop. I'm getting a little feedback right now. So um, I want you guys to participate for sure. I do not want this to be the de-talking thing, but if you can <laughs> mute if, um, for right now, and hopefully we'll see Alexis jump on. But okay, um, but <laughs> welcome. And we're sad that Heidi can't be here. She's on her way to Alaska right now. Oh, I think she's trying to get on <laughs> from the airport. Or that's probably Claudia showing up. But anyway, welcome. So I'm excited to be here with you guys tonight. And I'm excited to hear um, how everything is going. And um, let's just have a discussion while we wait for Alexis. Let's hear what is going right this week for you guys. or any struggles that you have. Let's just go ahead and open it up for discussion at this point. So I'm gonna turn the time over to you guys for right now. What's going right? Anyone? I'll go since no one's saying anything. I'm very, very new. Like week three even on the program myself so I had a call someone I started a conversation with like my first week uh, Charlotte and I had a call last Sunday we had a follow-up call with her this Sunday because she had to think about it she wanted to look at the video and the group and different things like that and she never answered the phone um, but in between those two calls she invited my daughter to her son's birthday party so I was like, you know what, I'm going to get a little conversation going here because it, it's, you know, it was just Sunday, so I don't want to drive her crazy. You know, this isn't an emergency, not too urgent, patient, patiently persistent. Um, so I was like, you know, I'm going to shoot her a text, see if I need to bring any side dishes to the party, just see if she mentions anything about missing our call or whatever. And so, of course, she said I didn't have to bring anything. And then she said, oh, by the way, your program sounds fabulous. I just can't do it right now. I definitely want to keep in touch about this. So. That's awesome. That was, Wait. and it just started with, can I bring a side dish? That is so great. <laughs> Way to just keep it. I mean, that's the great thing is we have a really great gift for other people and you just found an opportunity to share in a very simple way so yep. and I'm still learning but yeah <laughs> well yes and you know what we're all still learning so but Brandy and I'm, I'm sorry I should start from the beginning I'm Dee Bryson I've been absent for the last several weeks I just had a son get married two weeks ago so we've had oh, a word. marriage I know it's so fun a marriage, a brand new cute daughter-in-law that's just darling, a reception, a foreign exchange student arrived from Germany, and oh a goodness. family celebration. So <laughs> you've been busy. <laughs> yes. So I'm sorry, but I want to hear. Tell tell me a little bit, if you don't mind. I want to hear your story. Oh sure. Um, actually, uh, Charlotte Montgomery is my coach. Her, her husband and my husband went to school together in Charlotte, North Carolina. So, um, sorry, my daughter's showing you her lovely little mermaid sippy cup that she got today. <laughs> um, so, uh, Charlotte and Brian, uh, we were just kind of became friends on Facebook. And honestly, for four or five years, Brian has kind of been, he's, he sent something to my husband about the program and my husband kind of blew it off. But I befriended Charlotte and she said something probably about December or January out of her when it was exactly, and we just started a conversation. So it was many months before we actually had a scheduled call. And then I took another couple of months before I made a decision to, to join. But my husband and I are doing this together. And um, it, so it definitely is a journey. Um, I'm, I'm a little boost and um, I'm feeling fabulous. Got lots of energy. I know I'm putting good food in my body, good vitamins. Um, my husband, his, his was a little bit slower getting to energy. He's a little bit taller and bigger than I am. So he, he's still kind of easing into it all, but he's doing great. And, um, you know, we're, we're, we're still with it. And, you know, he's got several more months to go. I, I may 
be on maintenance sooner than he. <laughs> but um, we're trying new recipes and just really enjoying food for what it was meant to be, which is great. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank Welcome. You. We're excited. We love getting more people and making our team stronger. So we're excited for you to be with us and to contribute and make us oh, better. Thank so you. welcome. Okay, yeah, um, let's see, do we, we still don't have Alexa, so who, who else has something that they wanna share this week? My Alexa starts answering you every time you say Alexis. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Mary? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can now. My Alexa answers every time you say Alexa. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think about that. Mine's in the other That's room. Funny. So she probably is listening too. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm having a good month. It started off really lousy because I had a great month last month. I went from coach to senior coach to manager to associate director all in one little like short awesome. Wow. But one of the ladies that helped me do that, she ordered like two big orders. She, I mean, she got the first box and then like a week later, she ordered another big box and then she quit and sent it all back. <laughs> oh no. So that started my month off kind of lousy and I didn't, you know, things just weren't lining up. And then this weekend I signed up a coach and a client for her and two, two more clients for me yesterday. So it's, Yay. it's don't know you know just keep on keeping on see i would have never guessed you were having a bad month because i kept thinking you're on fire every time i went <laughs> into the group i saw you bring someone else in and like <laughs> wow look at that she is sharing and caring about everybody so i i think you're having a great month and unfortunately now someone else can jump in that has like way more experience than me but that's kind of kind of I guess gets at your heart is when you know you have something that could make their lives better and that just really tugs at your heart but you just have to kind of I, I it gets a little bit easier because you just recognize that they're not ready yeah and nope. you never know when they're going to come back so you just love on them and when they're ready they're ready yeah. so there's a this lady, her, she's a young woman. She's beautiful. She's she's like minister of um, children's leader, you know, yeah. full of energy. But she's very overweight, and I've really been praying for her to want to do it, you know. And then all of a sudden, she said it to me at church on Sunday. I think I might call you. I might. I'm not sure. <laughs> Thinking about it. And so I reached out to her yesterday and asked if I could call her. And she said, sure. And she signed up. So happy. I'm just thrilled. Yeah. It's like you're having some phenomenal success. And like I said, I've been impressed every time. It seems like every time I jump on Lean Team, I see you welcoming a new friend. So congratulations <laughs> on just Love loving people. Good deal. Anybody else have any exciting things they want to share for this week? Let's see. I can try. Okay, I want to make sure I'm not missing anyone. I can try to talk, Dee. Don't think you can hear me. I'll share. Go Might for as it. Well brain is a little on overload right now, <laughs> a little on overload, a lot on overload. Um, but I, so one of the things that I've been working on is um, just getting on the phone and sharing and it's been hard. It's, it's definitely taken me out of my comfort zone, but I'm working on it. Um, so the other day I actually, I got on the phone with um, this sweet lady that I had um, worked a bat mitzvah for a couple of years ago. And um, she was really excited to get on the phone with me. She was so just warm and, and kind. And it was just, it was really wonderful to talk to her. And so, you know, I started sharing my story and she goes, well, I don't know if you know this, but 
I actually help counsel people who are preparing for weight loss surgery. And I was like, I had no idea. <laughs> um, so she, the, so she was really happy to hear because two years ago, I just shared this with the um, on our six steps to senior coach hall. But two years ago, my aunt was before I found this program and started my journey. She was starting to talk to me about doing weight loss surgery. She wasn't gonna do that, and. So I was able to share that with this lady that I was talking to, and she was just over the moon happy that I was just one of those people who found something that worked for me before I turned to surgery. Um, and so I actually have coffee with her next week, um, and I'm really excited. And um, and then I'm going to end really quickly because I'm in the middle of also doing laundry. I'm going to be honest. My brain's like... Um, before I before I walk away and just listen in, uh, in my my first grad school class last night, we were talking about mindfulness, and I'm I feel really blessed to be going into the counseling field. I feel like there's so much overlap in my life that everything just kind of belongs together. Um, there's not just one every not, there's nothing that's segregated in my world. Everything comes together. It's all a puzzle piece, and um, so we were actually talking about mindfulness. And um, I know we're all gung-ho on mindfulness. So we watched a video. The first video didn't really speak to me too much, but the second video was all about the stop. And of course I'm thinking stop, challenge, choose, but I just wanna break down what stop stands for for you guys if you guys aren't sure what it stands for. So the S is literally just stop. Stop what you're doing, stop. The T is take a deep breath. The O is observe. What's going on around you? How are you feeling? Are you stressed? Where, where, what's happening? And then the P is proceed. So I just thought that really blended with everything that we do, and I wanted to give that to you guys. Thank you. I'm sorry. So tell me again, what's the P? I was writing it down as fast as I could. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, the P is proceed. Proceed. I love that. That is so perfect with what we do. So first of all, congratulations on grad school. That's Thank huge you. and that's a big one. I appreciate My son-in-law is also in counseling and I just get so excited when I am going through trainings and read stuff and learn stuff mm -hmm. because it just meshes so much with what, what he yeah, learns totally. and it's so fun. So totally. anyway. I love that. And as far as getting out of your comfort zone, congratulations, because what I am learning, I've not mastered, but I'm learning that when we get out of our comfort zone, that is where real growth Definitely. happens. So thank you. Congratulations. And thank thanks, you for guys. sharing that. And thanks for taking a minute out of your <laughs> As long as I'm here, I got to be here. So <laughs> love you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Okay. I saw a Samsung phone that just jumped on and I'm not sure. I just want to make sure that that is not Alexis waiting for problems or something. And well, maybe we can catch her Do you, next I can, week. I can share something if you'd like me to. I would like you to. All right, so hi guys, I'm Charlotte, and uh, Brandy's a rock star. She's oh. one of my dear friends. Way to go, Brandy. Um, okay, so what what's exciting that's happened for me is I've gotten calls out of the blue from past clients of, you know, four, three or four years ago. Um, as much as, you know, we all, with, as much as we want this for other people, um, I know too, it's hard to see some of our clients slip backwards and put some of their weight back on. So that does happen. You know, it's a journey for everybody. And so, but they of course know where to come back when they're right and they're ready to get back into the game. So pretty awesome to have people come back. And that's usually what happens. If you've ever had a client drop off, they always come back. And I can attest for that. I've been a coach for five years. So I've never, well, there are some people that I probably have yet to come back, but there's just so many that have come back. It's kind of crazy because there's nothing out there that works as good as this does. And there's not, not the community or the education that this offers. So um, hoping, of course, that this sticks for them this time, but 
that's that's been really fun to have people come back this, this is the time of year this is almost like a mini holidays with with barbecues and whatever the summer had vacations whatnot so <laughs> getting back into structure i think this is a always historically for me been a big uh, month in my business a lot of clients come back and a lot of new people take the leap this is actually when i got healthy five years ago so i'm celebrating my five-year healthy anniversary <laughs> but that's been really fun to see those people come back and uh, just kind of call out of the blue you don't expect them but they've been watching of course on facebook so that's the other thing about Facebook is so crazy because you never know exactly who's who's watching, but you find out You're eventually right. when they come around. You're right. So I wanted to share All that. that so don't, is... don't give up on those people that maybe fell off and they'll, they'll come back. They always do. That's right. They just need to be loved on and know that you really care and be a safe place for them to come back when they are ready. This is a journey. I just want to echo what Charlotte said. That was all such great advice. Um, and uh, historically for me, you know, I, this is always actually my best time of year also. It's starting about now and through the holidays. So, so don't be worried and just keep building and sharing. And just like Charlotte said, you never know who's watching those videos and being just sitting there quietly until they feel safe enough to approach you. So. Just keep sharing and caring. Um, let's see, I guess. Is there anyone else that has something um, they want to share? I certainly I wanted want to, to share that today. I posted a photo on Instagram of a before and after okay. shot. And I was kind of uncomfortable because it wasn't, I really didn't like the photo that much. But I'm glad I posted it. So. I am too, Sue. Again, I know that was out of your comfort zone, but I thought it was an awesome picture. I saw it. I was yeah. super impressed. So good for you. Good for you. Um, let's see. I guess I had a success this week and amidst all the craziness, I decided to just, um, a lot of things I couldn't control with my schedule this week. Um, lots of family. We actually had 20 house guests in our house over the weekend and stepping over bodies throughout our house. It was just chaos, but it was fun chaos and good chaos. But I decided I was still going to find a way to work. And so I had been getting up at 3.30 and 4.30 in the morning because it was the only time there was quiet in my house and um, spent some time just reaching out and sending people that had been on my mind uh, messages. And so I got uh, 27 conversations started in the craziness of my, my weekend. And I was kind of excited that I had just made that um, a priority and done that. And um, on an exciting note, I got a new client from, it's kind of an experiment that I was doing and I told Heidi I would share this. I have um, started a little challenge group and just said, hey, I'm gonna focus on my health for 12 weeks. Any friends want to uh, join me? And um, I shared that on a couple of pages and I got a pretty tremendous response. And so in just two days of saying, hey, I'm gonna do a challenge group, which I'm, by the way, totally making up as I go. I'm open to any advice you guys have to offer about these challenge groups. I'm just feeding them the habits that we learn and stories of success and recipes and um, lots and lots of stories of success. And in my, uh, we're actually, I guess on our third day, I just signed up my first client from that, um, from that journey. So our, our focus group, so, and have a few more interested so yay because <laughs> uh, this is awesome. I think yeah thank you I was pretty excited about it because I'm I, um, I saw uh, Dave oh my brain Dave Ramsey come on people help Ram me out he's Ramsey sorry 
No, um, Blanchard. With Optavia. Oh my goodness. Yes, thank you, Blanchard. Now, till Christmas, he was focusing on himself and the, uh, on his health and getting better. And, and he talked about uh, what commitment was. 